Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Wednesday, so let's watch you working on Wednesday. It's late in the day. <laughs> I procrastinated getting this video out today because I am lazy. I've <laughs> been, you know, pregnant. Had some errands done this morning, had to go to the pharmacy and to get a new microwave because our microwave pooped out almost yesterday, <laughs> right in the middle of me, like, doing stuff with it. Go figure. But anyways, and then we watched Harry Potter movie and I just sat around until time to get Jesse from school. <laughs> So I got a new whip to share with you guys, and it's not much right now. I haven't worked on it a ton, but I worked on it some. <laughs> and it's actually a phone stand. Um, well, it's called a phone tablet book stand, and it's a free pattern by uh, Nikki's Homemade Crafts. I'll have it linked below. I think you can also purchase the PDF, and I believe there's also a video tutorial on it as well on YouTube. So if I could, if it, if there, blah, blah. <laughs> if there is one, I'll link it below for you to check out. But I'm using, like I said the other day in one of my other videos, that I found another ball of this color <laughs> in my stash. It is Mainstay's um, Pink Multi. I just made a amigurumi out of it, and then I found this ball and I wanted to use it because I'm trying to use up some of my yarns that I, um, you know, these random yarns like this one. <laughs> so this is it so far. Doesn't look like much, but this is like a tube right here. This will be stuffed. And then this is um, a flat piece. That's where, like when this is stuffed, that's where your phone will sit. And then you, I'm crocheting on this part. It'll be in the round now. It's like a tube. I don't know if you can see there's two pieces there. <laughs> um, and then that'll be stuffed and that'll make like a triangular shape. I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Um, that will hold the phone or book or whatever up. And the reason I want to make this is because I sit on the couch a lot and watch videos on my phone. Um, like while Jesse or Devin's using the TV. And uh, I have like a plastic phone holder that I got at the Dollar Tree, but it falls, it like, it doesn't stay up well if it, um, you know, if you bump it, it falls down. So uh, I looked on Ravelry at some of these uh, phone stands and I liked this one. And it's got pockets on the side, so I thought that'd be handy to put like my scissors and stuff in because I always crochet when I watch TV. Um, so yeah, I want to try to work this up so I can use it. It'll help a lot too when the baby's born. <laughs> um, because if I'm holding her, feeding her, or whatever, I could have my phone propped up watching videos or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it so far. Doesn't look like much. I'm using a G hook. I'm using my one with the moon on it. It used to have stars on it, but I've used it so much that it's like worn them off. Um, there's a couple on there still, but uh, most of them were worn off. But I'm liking it so far. Um, I'm hoping I have enough for this because it's kind of big. But I do have two scrap balls of this yarn. And worst case scenario, if I were to use it all up, I would just throw another pink in there because it's just a phone stand. But um, I'll pop up the picture. I think I already said that. But I think it's pretty neat because it has little pockets you can put things in. And um, there's another one that I saw from another designer that is like a tissue box cover. And I thought that one was pretty neat. But I don't need tissues often enough to want to make that. But um, it's like a tissue box with a phone stand and it's got pockets as well. That's pretty cool. That would be real handy in the winter time when you, you know you tend to have the sniffles and stuff or allergies because you'd have all that stuff right there ready to grab <laughs> but i'll link this down below if you want to check it out because i think it's i think it's gonna be pretty cool i'm excited about it i'm looking forward to making it i had a little bit of trouble with this part up here the way it was written so i did go to the video that i think is on youtube i'm pretty sure it's on youtube um and then once i saw her how she did it it clicked and i was like oh yeah duh, that makes sense but uh yeah so now i got to crochet a whole bunch of just solid circle for the length. I think there's like 40 something rounds I gotta do. So it's gonna be a little while. I gotta get a stitch marker off my thing. That's why I stopped because I didn't have a stitch marker the day that I was working on this, uh, which was yesterday. <laughs> I haven't crocheted at all today. But I'm gonna work on it. Maybe here in a little bit. It's like four. No, it's like almost five, I'm pretty sure. So I can get a little bit of uh, some like crumb show or something in before it's time to start the routine of getting Jesse ready for school. <laughs> And, um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys are working on down below. Le feel free to leave, uh, links or pattern names or anything like that. Uh, also, if you're not crocheting, let me know what you're doing today. Are you, you know, what did you make, what did you make for dinner? <laughs> I love stuff like that. Um, if you ran errands or whatever, you know. Yeah, did you sew? Did you do something else? I don't know. <laughs> I just like, uh, communicating with people and seeing what everyone's doing. I didn't make anything for dinner today. We'll probably do, like, microwavable stuff. Because I just, just spend those days, you know, you don't feel like doing anything. Um, I'll probably eat like a Hot Pocket or something. <laughs> and go from there. But, uh, yeah, so vlog a bit. Always at the end. Uh, I mentioned in my other video, for people who watch all my videos, 
my OB appointment on Monday got canceled because of snow <laughs> in Tennessee. Um, so I had to call them. Today's Wednesday, Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so I called them Tuesday. Uh, and they made it for Thursday, which is tomorrow. But they made it at 7.30 in the morning. My doctor office doesn't open until 8. So I guess because they canceled everybody's appointments today, they're having to squeeze people in when they can. Because, like, people who are less pregnant than me can go next week. But I'm on the weekly visits, and I'm sure other women are too. So they have to squeeze us in this week wherever they can get us. And apparently they got me at the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> so, um, that interferes with us taking Jesse to school. So in the morning, my mom's going to come here. We'll already be up because we get up at 6.30. Um, Jesse will probably be eating breakfast. So she's going to sit with him, get him ready for school, take him to school. Because we have to leave around 7 to get to my OB. And we, we don't leave t to take Jesse to school until 7.40. So she's going to come uh, take him to school for us. We're going to go to the OB appointment and come back. It should be a short one. I don't think I get an ultrasound. I'll probably just do the heart monitor thing and we're supposed to talk about the induction which is what I'm excited about because I need to know the dates because <laughs> Devin has he already put in for his uh, paternal leave but he has to go in and edit the dates whenever we know what the dates are so we gotta do that <laughs> but um yeah so that's tomorrow and then we'll come home and then yeah we'll know tomorrow so I'll probably tell y'all <laughs> tomorrow or maybe vlog or something I don't know but uh, I also got some Happy Mail that I need to film. It is mostly, I got a gift for myself and I got a gift, a few gifts for June. And then some of it's stuff that my sister got us and some of it's stuff that we got <laughs> that I just want to share with you. It's mostly baby stuff. Um, it's, it, I think it's actually all baby stuff except <laughs> uh, the thing for me. And uh, it's not yarny related stuff. So if you don't care about non yarny Happy Mail, then you can skip that video. <laughs> but uh, I like making them anyways and I like. Uh, showing what we got so that people who sent it knows that we got it. And actually speaking of that, in December, I had two packages coming from Amazon that I didn't order because everything I ordered came. Um, and they sat forever in Sparta, which is where I live, as a distribution place. <laughs> and then they sat there for like two weeks and then they disappeared. So I don't know what they were or who ordered them, but if you ordered anything from Amazon for me, in December you might want to check your Amazon to see if it was ever delivered because um, whatever they were and whoever they're from I have no idea they just disappeared <laughs> they never got delivered to the post office and I never got them and I thought it was weird I kept watching them and watching them and they sat at the distribution center which um, is where they go before they go to the post office and they sat there for like two weeks and I thought it was because of Christmas you know and, um, and then they just disappeared so I don't know what happened to them but I also had another package that someone did order for me, um, I think in December as well. And actually, it did come to the post office, but it was empty. <laughs> the package was, it's like it was never sealed from Amazon at all. The seal wasn't peeled off or anything. It was just like an empty bag. It had the gift receipt in it. That's the only reason I knew how, knew who sent it. So I contacted them and then they contacted Amazon and they got their refund back. But um, it's just crazy. <laughs> I just remembered that the other day. I should have mentioned that in December, but I don't know who sent them and what they were, but they just disappeared. But, uh, anyways, yeah. So, I'm gonna go see what Jesse wants to eat. Hopefully, it's something easy. <laughs> and, um, I seriously thought about ordering pizza. But I hate ordering pizza because it's, like, $40. And that, that kills my frugal soul to spend that much on one meal. <laughs> but it's just one of those days, yeah. So, I'll probably just, we'll just dig through the freezer and find, like, random nukable things. <laughs> and, you know, we have sandwich stuff as well. But, yeah, so, baby countdown is going and it's gonna be next week sometime probably next weekend i'm thinking she's gonna be an aquarius which i thought was cool because <laughs> you know if she was born this week she'd have been a capricorn but if she, uh the, the, the 20th so friday she she would be an aquarius we don't have an aquarius me and jesse are tauruses and devin's a virgo so it's gonna be interesting <laughs> but yeah anyways um we got everything ready i think except the car seat still gotta do that <laughs> but um we still have at least a week, <laughs> so we'll, we shall see, we shall see, I don't know in the morning, I'm gonna be nervous wreck when they tell me, because like that's like actual deadline, that things have to be prepared for, um, it's so weird, a lot of people say, oh well you may still go into labor before you get induced, but um, it would be a bad thing at this point if I go into spontaneous labor, because I'd have a higher chance of bleeding a lot, because of, of being on heparin shots, um, 
So at this point, I don't want to go into spontaneous labor. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens, I guess. And we'll deal with what, whichever thing happens. But I'm going to hop off here now because I'm just blabbing. <laughs> and I'm going to go get something to eat and feed Jesse and go to bed later because <laughs> I'm tired. And yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. I'll see. I'll talk to you guys at some point tomorrow because I want to fill you in about the baby. <laughs> but um, until then, bye guys.